Hey y'all, welcome to fourth grade, chapter 12, lesson three. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, I'm gonna do the same thing that I did last time um, on 12.2, and I'm going to go ahead and use the conversion method that I always thought that is very helpful to make sure once they're, these ones it's not so hard, once they get a little bit longer, it's gonna be more difficult. So um, I also wrote T above tons, LBS above pounds, because those are abbreviations and OZ above ounces, okay? So when I'm writing capital T, LBS, or OZ, I know what they mean, okay? So to start with, I have tons here and tons on the bottom, which means I can cancel them out, which means I'm left in pounds, which is what I want, okay? Now, I just have to multiply straight across because there's nothing on the bottom except the one, so I don't have to divide by anything. So seven times two is 14, and then I have one, two, three zeros, 14,000 pounds. So, there we go. Okay. All right. Next one. Okay. All right. Two pounds is how many ounces? Well, two pounds. Well, okay. In one pound, there's 16 ounces. So, that's the conversion that we had to put in. Okay. So, in two pounds, how many ounces are, are there? Okay. So there's pounds, there's pounds, I'm left in ounces, which is what I want, okay? And two times 16 is 32, that's 32 ounces. Okay, not so bad once you get used to it, guys, okay? All right, so three tons is how many pounds? Well, one ton is 2,000 pounds, and I have three of those. I started with what I know, which is what the problem gives me is three tons. And I know that one ton is 2,000 pounds. So there's tons, there's tons. I'm left in pounds, which is what I want. Okay. And three times two is six. And then I have one, two, three zeros, 6,000 pounds. I know on these ones, it's probably a little easy for you guys to do it in your head. But I want you to practice getting it set up this way so that when they get longer, you guys know exactly what to do. Okay, so you guys finished five through seven. We're gonna go down and compare, okay? So I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna turn my page and I'm gonna go, it says eight pounds or 80 ounces, which one is bigger? It's always easier to go from the larger unit and multiply to get the smaller unit. Instead of going from the smaller unit, you're dividing by the, to get the bigger one. So. We're going to start with eight pounds. Okay. Now we need to get to ounces. Well, in one pound, there is 16 ounces. Okay. So now I can cancel out my pounds because I have a top and a bottom and I'm left in ounces, which is what I want. Okay. And then 8 times 16, well, I don't know that off the top of my head, so I'm going to do it up here. 8 times 6 is 48, carry our 4. 8 times 1 is 8, plus 4 is 12, so 128 ounces. So, this is 128 ounces, that's 80 ounces, okay? 128 is definitely bigger, okay? All right, now... This one's going to be easy because it says one ton or 100 pounds. Well, you know that 2,000 pounds is one ton, so that one ton is obviously going to be bigger. Okay? Three pounds are 50 ounces. Well, let's do some math. We have three pounds, and we're going to get that into ounces. Well, the conversion for pounds to ounces is one pound is 16 ounces. Okay? So now... I can cancel out my pounds. I'm left in ounces. That's what I want. Okay. And three times 16, well, three times six is 18. Carry the one. Three times one is three plus one is four, 48 ounces. So this is 48 ounces, and that's 50 ounces. 50 ounces is bigger. Okay. You guys go 11 through 13 you guys totally can okay this says a company that makes steel girders can produce six 
tons of girders in one day. How many pounds is that? Well, okay, so six tons. Okay, remember, capital T is tons. Okay, where one ton, okay, and I want it on the bottom because I want to be able to cancel it out and get into pounds. One ton is 2,000 pounds. Okay, so now I can cancel out my tons. I'm left in pounds. That's what I want. Okay, LBS is, I don't know why I'm putting S on that, but LBS is pounds. Okay, so six times two is 12, and then I have one, two, three zeros. 12,000 pounds. You can write out pounds if you want to, no big deal. Okay, all right. Larry's baby sister weighed six pounds at birth. How many ounces is that? So we're going to start with six pounds. Okay. We're going to go in one pound. There are 16 ounces. Okay. So now I'm going to cancel out pounds. I'm left in ounces, which is what I want. Okay. And six times 16, well, Six times six is 36, carry our three. Six times one is six, plus three is nine, 96 ounces, okay? Okay, we're gonna go on to the back where you guys are gonna do a lesson check, just like always. And I'm gonna help you guys do this final review, okay? So. Let's see. Okay. This says, what is the measure of P to H to G? Okay. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you a little bit of magic right now because this little box right here means that that's 90. Okay. It's a 90 degree angle. So 90 plus that 30, well, that's 120. Okay. Okay. All right. How many lines of symmetry does the square below have? Well, I can cut it this way. Probably better than that. I can cut it this way. I can cut it this way or I can cut it this way. That would be four lines of symmetry. There we go. Okay. To make dough, Reba needs two and a half cups of flour. How much flour does she need to make five batches? So, two and a half by five. Okay. So, the first thing that I need to do is I need to turn this into an improper fraction. We can do dead man. Two times two is four plus one is five over two because I keep my denominator and I'm going to multiply that by five and I'm going to put the five over one because five over one is the same thing as five. Okay. So now I don't see anything I can cross cancel. So five times five is 25 and two times one is two. Now, if you need to go over in the corner and you need to do two and the 25, you go right ahead. I know that two times 12 is 24. And 25 minus 24 would be 1, and then I keep my denominator. Okay? You can absolutely do the math if you want to. That's not a problem. That's how you do that math. Okay? Judy's father is six feet tall. The minimum height to ride a roller coaster is given in inches. How many inches tall is Judy's father? Well, six feet. And in one foot, there's 12 inches which means we would cancel out feet and be left in inches, which is what we want. And then six times 12, six times two is 12, carry that one. Six times one is six plus one is seven, 72 inches, okay? All right, y'all, thanks for hanging out for 12.3. Come on back for 12.4, see you soon.